Captain's Log, start date September 29th, 2009. Let's get a few things straight here. Hmm. I uh, would like to propose and put, move forward the supposed copyright ceiling, which I am here to prove that it is false. Because, you know, that is only an image. You can type anything in, make it look like whatever in Photoshop. And also, this Greg Mays, I know for a fact that this guy is Clyde Cash, or the past character of Clyde Cash, because Clyde Cash used the Greg Mays at gmail.com email address to pretend to be a Greg Mays to have some sort of video game company or something, but he later admitted that he was Clyde Cash. But anyway, I did, I did my web searches and all that of Clyde Cash and Greg Mays. Other than the uh, fake pictures and whatnot, there is no record whatsoever of this Greg Mays or Clyde Cash. I even on any of the uh, addresses or birth dates that they provided, that this guy has provided in any form or matter, from, when he, from communication or hacking or whatever, this Greg Mays and Clyde Cash, this guy, be acting as either one of those guys, Greg Mays and Clyde Cash were, are and were both fake. They're non-existent. Just like in the acting, just like in the, on the TV, on the just like TV actors, and not, I like these uh, these following people. And just like Greg Mays and Clyde Cash, they're about as fake and fictional as Elaine Bennis from Seinfeld, Chandler from Friends, Monica from Friends, or Phoebe, or even. Archie Bunker from All in the Family, Fred Sanford on Sanford and Son, and George Jefferson on The Jeffersons. I would like to reiterate that I like those actors and, and the characters they portray. But I, I mean, I have yet to see this guy actually show his face in real life ever, showing off his photo ID with his name. Either be either being Greg Mays or Clyde Cash or whatever the, whatever his real name is. The one that his mother gave to him at birth. And I even throw in the question about him ever actually going out to Australia and having his and having his forced way with my past as Australian gal pal who died in the Australian breast fires. I mean there's I mean if this guy never existed, he never went to Australia. Even Robert Simmons claimed to have gone there and witnessed the whole thing. And he was a proven troll. So therefore, I, per I further emphasize the fact that this Greg Mays is a fake, a fraud, a phony. Would not even come at, would, just hides behind his mother's skirt. Would never dare to show his real life face or show who he actually was. And I also question his relation to the biatch troll Vivian G. I question that. Oh, and another thing, about as fake as every last one of those supposed pieces of merchandise on that quote-unquote science store. Even the DVD. I have heard rumors about even, even past vicious content being copied on a DVD. Aside from the printed list on the back of the DVD. And you know what? You got less than what you bargained for, the first guy who got a copy of my DVD. Even though all that stuff was real, I have the director's cut, the one and only director's cut. And what it, what, how it differs from the distributed copies, only the director's cut has the videos from My Family's Christmas 2004. H22, December 25th, 2004. And also even the first PS, Pixelated PS3 attempts where I had the Lego PS3, Lego and Pixel Black PS3 and actually had it hooked, had hooked up a, a, a fake, a um, makeshift Lego PSP, the US, PS2, the USB connector, you know, like uh, to connect a PS2 controller to a PS3 console, and I hooked up my Guitar Hero, my guitar, my PS2 guitar to it, and I actually played Thunder Horse. 
for telling what well, this is was shown. I was actually playing on the my original PS2. That and more photographs, more stuff in the slideshow. Differs from the distributed copies that were distributed amongst family and whatever, and what this guy got is only on the director's cut. Read yourself. Read for yourself. Title 11, The Family Christmas, and Title 13, The, fir the pr First PS3 Attempts. Look on the back of, uh, look at the back image of the uh, distributed DVD. You'll see what I'm talking about. And you know what? It don't even have that nice little label on it. Or the list of family members and relatives. Or even the horoscope from the, my 25th birthday, February 24, 2007. So, <laughs> y'all didn't get as much as you got, you dang dirty trolls. Y'all didn't get, get all the stuff that was originally on the DVD. Because you did not get the director's cut. Uh, anyway. Sanchez copyright is still mine. It's still mine, and I have officially registered it. And I reiterate, this Greg Mays, Clyde Cash, whoever he is, he is a fake. I dare him, and I challenge this individual who, pl who plays these characters to actually come out to my home address and, re and show and reveal and show him and prove himself to me for being whoever he is. And I know it's the same guy because I heard his voice recently on the telephone and recognized it from the past times when I talked to quote unquote Clyde Cash on the phone. That high pitched, drunk, whiny, nasally voice of his. That same goddamn voice. I, write, I remember it so well. Alright, wait, wait. I'll leave you with all that. And I am still drawing the pages for for the number nine book, and I'm working on the number ten book as well. So, only from me, Christian Weston Chandler, birth name Christopher, of Rutgersville, Virginia, USA. And also, I would like to reference the public disclaimer video, also on my youth on this my or my official and my official YouTube account, and everything. Sant Chu and Rose Chu officially is on the Wikipedia, aka the original CWC's Sant Chu site. Also known as Sant Chu and Rose Chu site. All other websites aside from this YouTube and the Wikipedia are false. Peace out and have a safe day.